Hello everyone, it is Snail by Millie and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got these golden nails for my golden 21st birthday. So let's get into the video. I'm going to show you guys how I did this set. Y'all, and this is how crazy I am about my nails. I literally plan out my nails and do different variations. But let's get into the video. So I started with my natural nails and I removed the shine from them and applied my tips from Amazon on with the e-basket nail glue and then I'm just cutting down the tips Then here I did a randomizer, one was square shape and two was skinny coffin and I got one. So I started to work on the square shape. For my nails, I just cut a little bit of excess off with my straight edge clippers so I didn't have to file as much and then I went in with my 100-100 nail file and started filing them at a 45 degree angle to get the nice shape that I want. And when I do my own nails, I like to just do one hand at a time, file it, and then do the other hand. So this video, you'll just see this hand, and you'll see me lay the acrylic on it and file it. And in the end, I'll pop up with my other hand done. I just feel like the video would be really long if I show you both sides. And the other hand is basically the same thing. I just flip some of the nails around and that's the only difference then I'm going in with my e-file and just blending in the tip to my natural nail and removing the shine from the nail tip And then here are the shapes all filed how I would like it. And then for this set, I'm going to be using the primer and dehydrator like I always do by me a secret. So I'm going in first with the dehydrator. And you guys need to make sure you're doing this step if you are not priming and prepping. Then your nails are going to fall off really fast. And then of course going in second with the nail primer then for this set I'm going to be using Be A Secret liquid monomer and then the nude and white color I just mixed up so the white color is just mixed with white and clear and then the pink colors, like a bunch of random nudes I mixed together um, to match like what color I wanted. And then I'm using this gold glitter from Amazon to encapsulate on some of the nails. And then of course the clear to encapsulate. So the first thing I'm going to do on this set is just take a bead of clear and put it all on my natural nail and this will just help prevent lifting because I'm using both Me Secret Clear and Me Secret Monomer and those two go together so they'll create a strong bond that won't be able to lift where if I was using a uh, acrylic powder that had clear and pigment in it already it's just it will just help it last longer and then on my thumb I'm going in and placing a little bead to make the French on my thumb and I used to do this with the little acrylic cutters for the C curves but I just like it when I kind of place it how I want it better because I know what shape I want it to look like so I'm basically just forming this 
until it's like it how I want it and then I'll go in and file it in a second you'll see that but I'm going to do the French on my thumb my pointer finger and my ring finger so I'm going to apply the nude to all three of those fingers and here I am just measuring where I had the French on my thumb so it will be about the same length on the other nails so they look uniform and when you're doing this French you have to make sure that you do it pretty thick so that you're able to file it still Then on my thumb, I'm going to place down some clear acrylic and then dab into the glitter and just kind of place how much glitter I want on my pinky for the ombre that's going to go on that now. So I'm placing the color that's at the tip first, just the glitter in this instant. And then I'm going to go in with the nude and just swipe it down really lightly. And then making sure that I pat the beads into my cuticles so that it is flat on my nail and there's no lumps of air at all that would cause the lifting. And then of course just going in and encapsulating all of that glitter with the clear. And then now I'm gonna take my file and just file these C curves until I like how they look and that they're even and straight. And you want to really want to make sure that these are pretty straight when you do this step because otherwise you might have a little crooked a little bend or crook in your French line and it just you don't need that so now I'm taking the white and you see how I'm sweeping it up into the French area that just helps make sure that there's no bubbles or no missing parts at the top where that part is but I'm just sweeping down all of the acrylic so it's nice and smooth and it's filled in all of the areas around the French and yes I am using a smaller brush I know some of y'all are probably wondering why I'm not using a bigger brush but it's just personal preference I really like the control I have with the smaller brush and I feel like having a smaller brush clogs my brush list so I have I don't have to worry about my brush getting all clogged when I'm in the middle of a set and then on my middle finger I'm just gonna go in and lay the white acrylic down making sure to pat it into my cuticle and clean it out of my cuticle if it gets too far on my skin and once it was opaque enough for me, I went in and added some glitter on top of the wet acrylic. And once the glitter pattern is kind of how I wanted it, I just encapsulated it with clear so that I was not filing onto any of that glitter and making the glitter come off.
Then I'm just going in on my pointer finger and doing the same thing that I did on my ring finger. And then repeating the same thing on my thumb and on fringes it's okay if you bring the white onto the nude area because you're going to have to file it anyways so it doesn't have to be perfect when you're laying the acrylic at all it's supposed to look like that so then after all of them dried I went back in with my nail file and first thing I do is just redefine the shape I'm filing on the sides of the nails and underneath the nails to make sure they're all straight for the most part before I go in with my e-file. And my e-file is kind of broken right now, that's why it looks like I'm pushing so hard, but I use this 5-in-1 drill bit and I'm just going in and cleaning out my cuticles and then also using it to get all that acrylic off of the nude so that the smile line is nice and perfect. And when I was doing this set, I forgot, or I remembered, I had forgot how hard it is to file on your own nails. Like your finger is sore after because you don't have a hand to hold your finger. And I finally just got done with nail school. I know I haven't been posting on here as much, but I have a little bit more free time. So if there's any videos you would like to see, please leave them down in the comments and I could get a video up for you if you're wondering how to maybe do Frenches, slow down, slower than this, maybe you need help um, how to pick up beads, please just let me know what you guys would like to see. Maybe there's a set you would like me to do or a colored set that you would like to see. Please just list that down in the comments below. I would really appreciate it and thank you all for 120 subscribers. I appreciate every one of you and I appreciate you even if you aren't subscribing to me. And I didn't put all of my filing in this video. So I did file them way more than this and I also buffed them as well so this is how they look after I filed and buffed them and so I took this chrome powder that is gold from Amazon and I mixed it with some top coat and it creates this gold liner paint basically and then all you have to do is just cure in the lamp. So this is what I used on my pointer finger. And there I freaking spilled some. And you guys know that the chrome powders go a long way. So what I just spilled was actually a lot. But it's okay. It's okay. So in a second you'll see me make my TikTok. So if you want to follow me on TikTok I'll put my name on the screen go follow me on tiktok and i actually f found this hack from someone on tiktok i don't remember what her name was but she 
showed in a video how you could mix the liner paint with um, top coat and it would make like a really pretty color. So then with that, I'm outlining the French on my pointer finger and then the whole nail, the bottom half of the nail. So I'm just using this liner brush from, I don't remember where it's from, but I need some new liner brushes. And this finger is kind of curved. So you know when your finger is super curved, you kind of have to put that outline on the sides a little bit higher up so you're able to see it better and you don't have to like tilt your whole finger to be able to see it. And in between these clips, I'm putting it in my lamp for 30 seconds to cure it. And then right here, I'm going to go in and draw a 2 in a 1 since it is my 21st birthday. And as you can see, this liner paint needs a couple of layers. And I think I did like 3 layers, so for it to be like super gold. But I really love how putting the chrome powder in the top coat turned out. I was really impressed. And then here are the golden gems that I use for this set. They are on Amazon and they also have a lot of other colors besides just gold. So of course I'm going in with my diamond gel glue from Nail Supply Glamour. I love this glue and it holds on your stones so good. Um, and so I went in on my ring finger and just did a little stone placement and honestly I'm trying to work on my stone placement so this was a stone placement but a stone placement on this finger was something I have never done before and it actually turned out cute The only thing with the diamond gel glue is you have to work fast. Um, it dries pretty quick when you put it into the lamp, but you have to make sure nothing has slid before you put it in the lamp. You have to make sure everything is kind of straight. That's what you see me doing here, just making sure everything is straight before I put it in the lamp and before it cures. Because I don't want any of my stones to be sliding. And then I cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. After I fix everything to how I like it. And then I put some glue down on my pinky. And for my pinky nail, I was just gonna do the corner of stones because I saw in a picture somewhere but I didn't really like how it looked so in a second you'll see me move all the stones into just my cuticle area which was still really cute And then I went in on my thumb and I did the same stone placement that is on my ring finger.
And this year I did both my nails matching. If you guys have been with me for last year's birthday nails, I did my hands differently, but this year they actually go together, so that's the first. And then on my pencil finger, I went in and just did one big stone and one little stone just because I felt like it needed something. So this is how it looks before I put the top coat on. And those diamonds are blinging. And here's me contemplating if I should add more stones or not. <laughs> but I decided no, so I went in with my diamond gel top coat. And I just did one layer of this. Making sure to go around all of the stones because that will also help them stay on. And after I apply this, I cure it in my lamp for 60 seconds. And then here's what the nails look like after I take them out the lamp and after this I finished my other hand and I did my toes matching my nails and then here's what both of my hands look like together. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you.